I don't know if everybody saw the labor union emergency meeting held this past weekend surrounding the million person march where parents are coming together to oppose the SOGI initiative, the SOGI implementation with children at school, the sexual orientation and gender identity initiative. But here's some information in the light of that. Here we have a teacher in British Columbia, Trafalgar High School, a grade nine teacher that gave this document to the children of grade nine for them to fill out, not to bring home. They were instructed not to bring it home, but to fill this out. Take a look. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer on some of the questions on here for you to take a look. Do you notice how on the question, it refers to parents and guardians as home adults? And that if you don't want your home adult to know about the pronouns and identity you prefer to identify as, that you don't have to. But the terminology here, home adult, this is straight out of the Communist Manifesto. When you remove the importance of a parent or guardian's role in a child's life, you're encouraging them to be a child of the state. This is not only nefarious, but this is pure evil. To insinuate that a parent should have no involvement in the, the raising and cultivating of their child in a manner that they see fit based on their, their ethics and their, their morals and their culture and their beliefs to omit them from the upbringing of a child. This is absolutely disgusting. And this is why the Million Person March is happening. And this is why the labor unions that have become completely corrupted are opposing this so strongly. Parents need to come together and fight this. But in the meantime, here is the Minister of Education of British Columbia. Here's her contact. And here's the contact for the teacher. Her name is Sharon Inkpen. Here's her email so that parents can reach out to her to let, her, let them know and her know exactly where parents stand. This is unacceptable. And if we do not come together as parents in a peaceful way, democratic way, and voice our concerns and let them know where we as the people stand, we can only imagine how much further down the road this is going to get. This is unacceptable. This is disgusting. And there has never been a time more important than now for Canadians, for parents, for guardians who love their children to make their voices heard.